Tiffany. I'm four weeks, two days pregnant today. Um, and I kind of have some questions written right here that I'm going to answer. So first I'm going to go over my pregnancy test in case you haven't seen my videos. Um, if you want to watch them, I will put a link right here to my live pregnancy test where I got my positive. Um, and yeah, you can look up my one where I got the negatives first. So I did on Wednesday, I took my first test and I got a negative. And then on Thursday, I was like 9 or 10 DPO or 10 or 11 DPO. And I took a test and I also got a negative. I didn't take a test Friday when, I w when AF was due. But then I took another test on Saturday morning when she hadn't arrived yet. And I got this result on an internet cheapie. She can kind of see the line there. Um, and then I went ahead and dipped a second one, Oops. which you can't really see, but it's there. And then I ran to the store and I got a clear blue digital, which the little pregnant is gone now, but it was there. And this is my first response early result test, which you can definitely see. So that is that. Um... And as for symptoms so far, I had AF like cramps all day Friday and kind of somewhat on Saturday. And then today it's more like just pains every so often, but it's not really cramps. And TMI, my next symptom is um, I've been really wet down there. Like I thought that I had started probably a million times on Friday running to the bathroom to check and nothing. And I woke up probably three or four times on Friday night thing and I started and again nothing. So that's a symptom. And then yesterday I started getting a sore throat and I kind of have a stuffy nose and I don't know if it's because I have like a more compromised immune system, if I'm just getting sick or what's going on, but I do have a sore throat. The next thing is sleep. Um, I mentioned in my last TTC update vlog that I was having trouble sleeping through the night, um, and I still am. I wake up probably three to four times a night, every night, which is not like me. I usually go to sleep pretty easily, and I stay asleep all night. So that's no fun. But the next thing I have is best moment this week, and that would be finding out that I'm pregnant. Um, I don't miss anything yet. And I'm looking forward to confirming the pregnancy with the doctor. So, basically, I have, like, a list of questions um, to continue answering throughout my pregnancy. And it has, like, total weight gain, movement, food cravings, anything making you sick, belly button in or out, wedding rings on and off, anything you're looking forward to, and that sort of thing. A lot of them don't apply to me yet, but um, I will answer them in future vlogs. Um, and as for belly shots, I think I'm just going to start those at 12 weeks. I don't really feel comfortable doing that yet. Um, yeah, and other than that, I don't really have much to say. I did tell Mandy last night, and if you don't know, we bought this house last June, and we had it built. So in May, when I graduated from college, um, Mandy actually proposed to me in our future nursery in front of my mom and stepdad and my brother, which was really cool. So when I told her I was pregnant, I took her into that room and did it in the same spot. It was really cute, and I recorded it, but that, we're just going to keep that private. But um, it went really well, and I'm excited to start telling family, but I don't want to tell anybody until after 12 weeks. I do want to tell my mom before that, but I don't know how early I'm comfortable with. I definitely want to get in to confirm pregnancy with a blood test at a doctor before I tell anybody. And then I'll probably wait and tell my mom after the first ultrasound, and then we'll just kind of start telling people after that. And then 12 weeks will go official. Um, I think we were thinking I'll be around 13 weeks on my birthday, and I think that's when I'll go, like, Facebook official um, and tell the rest of the world, but I do want to kind of get it out there and let people know that I'm close to before they find out on Facebook. I kind of want to just tell them in person. So if you have any ideas of how to tell my mom or Mandy's family or anything like that, please leave in the comments below. I would love to read through those, and I want to do something really cool because I know that she's going to be super excited. She loves babies, and this will be her first grandbaby, so it's exciting. Um, 
Anyways, I don't have much else to say. If you have any suggestions for future vlogs, please leave in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. You can either comment, leave it in the comments, or you can um, private message me your question. Either one, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, other than that, I don't really have much else to say, but thank you for watching, and baby dust to everyone, and sticky baby dust to everyone who got their BFPs, and um, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.